introduce you to you first on my right. He is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Santiago de Cuba in Cuba. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, four losses, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist tonight, making the first defense of his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current reigning and defending WBA welterweight champion of the world.
Lopez says, hey, come on, keep them up. What energy here at T-Mobile Arena. For Pacquiao and Ubis. Skip jab for Ubis.
for Pacquiao's Pacquiao. He drives him to the ropes with the right hand. And now Pacquiao letting his hands go. Oh, left followed by a right to the chest by Ugas to Pacquiao. Pacquiao took a big deep breath. Those body punches might be having an effect. There's a right on the top of the head of Pacquiao. Might have affected his equilibrium for a brief second. Been away from the ring for 25 months. Pacquiao, total punches landed. 53 of 248 for a 21% connect percentage. Ugas, 54 of 131 with a 41% connect percentage. Pacquiao is throwing considerably more, which is no surprise, but Ugas has been the far more accurate of the two. Pacquiao doesn't seem to have the spring that he has had in the past, but he is still so dangerous. There's a straight left. But Pacquiao's work rate could be a significant, uh, something to watch because if you're the judge, what do you favor? Do you favor the, the volume of punching of Pacquiao or do you favor the clean, effective counter-punching of your Dennis Ugas, along with the fundamentals of him using his jab more than that of Pacquiao. And no doubt, Manny Pacquiao will let his hands go. But there's a right hand connecting for Ugas. Midway portion of the fifth. Tense moments here in Las Vegas. This crowd came out to... There's a right hand for Ugas. A very one-sided crowd, all in favor of Manny Pacquiao for the most part. And clash of heads, potentially. Thankfully, no blood. They touch gloves under a minute to go here in the fifth. Double jab for Pacquiao, partially blocked by Ugas. At this pace, this favors your Dennis Ugas because it is calculated and methodical. This is not the kind of fight that Manny Pacquiao, who likes to engage in firefights, this tempo and pace favors Ugas more than anything. Because it's very strategic and deliberate. There's a right hand counter for Ugas. But Ugas, being the naturally bigger man, there's Pacquiao who pounds away on the right glove of Ugas. Pacquiao unloading. Uga smiles at him and then he shook his head as to say, nope, nothing got through. There's a couple counter right hands by Ugas. Another counter right hand, but back comes Pacquiao. Pacquiao tr trying to end with a flurry and that ends the fifth. Much to the delight of this partisan Pacquiao crowd. That was towards the end of the round and look at Ugas just stare down Manny Pacquiao. Both men locked in. The welterweight championship of the world on the line. Ray Flores here in Las Vegas. Your Dennis Ugas, the champion, got elevated after the WBA stripped Manny Pacquiao of his title. The one that he captured by defeating Keith Thurman back in July of 2019. The last time Pacquiao was in the ring 25 months ago. 
Jabs landed. Pacquiao 23 of 168 for a 14% connect percentage. Ugas 32 of 111 for a 29% connect percentage. Ugas has not been overwhelmed by the moment. And he's saddling nicely. He's been very tactical in his offensive approach by using his jab and then letting his counter right hand go and also attacking the body of Pacquiao. Pacquiao has been able to dart in and out and is the one throwing more punches than that of Ugas. But he, it, he hasn't landed anything significant to Ugas, which would make Ugas, or which would hurt Ugas or be detrimental to Ugas moving forward in the fight. I think Manny's looking for a big shot to try to affect your Dennis Ugas. Now Pacquiao has a tight guard. He's trying to invite Ugas to him. So I think Pacquiao, he's like, instead of me attacking this guy, let me invite this guy to me and see if I can counter. So the strategies change here in the fight as you're seeing Pacquiao, who's almost inviting Ugas to come forward. And now chance a let's go Manny here at T-Mobile Arena. High level excitement between two elite welterweights. There's a big right hand by Ugas and you heard that. Ugas got all of that, all a lot of leverage behind that shot. Under a minute to go here in the sixth. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas looks razor sharp tonight. Double jab for Ugas. Ugas was a sizable underdog coming into this fight. Manny Pacquiao was over a three to one favorite. But Ugas didn't pay attention to the odds, said it doesn't matter. None of that affects me. I know what I'm capable of. Couple of lefts by Pacquiao. Final moments of the sixth. Ugas coming forward. He tags Pacquiao with the counter right hand. And Pacquiao trying to lunge in and get something. And that ends the sixth. We are halfway home commit any errors round seven this one is scheduled for 12 i think we have a close fight between manny pacquiao your dennis Ugas total punches landed thrown through six identical when it comes to landed but pacquiao has thrown nearly 200 punches more than that of Ugas. Power punches thrown through the sixth round. Pacquiao 50 of 183 for a 27% connect percentage. Ugas 39 of 63 for a 62% connect percentage. But Pacquiao is nearly tripling his power punch output when it comes to how much he is throwing. Judges, it all depends on what a judge favors. Do you favor the aggression or do you feel the tactical counterpunching selective mindset of your Dennis Ugas? Pacquiao stepping forward, throws a combination, but back comes Ugas. What a sensational fight. Pacquiao steps in with a left. Couple lefts that didn't find their mark for Pacquiao as we are coming up on 90 seconds to go here in the seventh. There's a right to the body followed by a right upstairs. Uga's doing exactly what Ismail Salas told him. He goes, attack the body and then come upstairs. He did exactly that in that sequence. 70 seconds remaining here in round seven. Uga's advancing forward but Pacquiao flicking out that jab he darts in throws a left and then gets out of the way double jab followed by the right but Pacquiao blocked most of those shots
Pacquiao is planting his feet more instead of bouncing around as much. He is sitting down in his shots more against the naturally bigger men. I think he realizes he has to do that because of the fact that him bouncing in and out and not getting full leverage behind his shots is not going to hurt this guy because of how big he is. There is a massive size difference between these two. And if you're Pacquiao, keep the fight in the center of the ring and use it to your advantage. If you're Ugas, I think Ugas is going to have to start to throw a little bit more because Pacquiao, with his volume and work rate, appears to be outworking him. And they end and fight at the bell. Manny Pacquiao will be 43 in December, also said after this fight is over. And the jabs landed. Pacquiao, 30 of 238 for a 13% connect percentage. Ugas, 42 of 158 for a 27% connect percentage. Manny Pacquiao said that he will, after this fight, think about potentially running for president of the Philippines. I think he has to declare before the end of the fall. But right now, he has a big task ahead of him in your Dennis Ugas. There's a big right hand, a glancing shot for Ugas. But he got a lot behind that one. This is a Manny Pacquiao who's trying to adjust as he is not used to, aside from, I mean, he's dealt with bigger men before. But that was when he was considerably younger. I mean, he beat up Antonio Margarito. But that was a long time ago. We have 95 seconds left here in the eighth. There's a right hand for Ugas. Ugas is a little more aggressive here in the eighth compared to that of previous rounds. He is starting to come forward and now press the issue. And I think Pacquiao is content to counter at the moment. That's that combination go. Big right hand that snapped back the head of Pacquiao. Pacquiao's punches have not stung Ugas to a point. There's a right to the body by Ugas. Ugas has proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that he is in elite welterweight and he's one of the best here at 147 with what we've seen thus far in the first eight rounds against Manny Pacquiao and Ugas taking this fight on 11 days notice replacing Errol Spence who had an eye injury we wish Errol all the best on a speedy recovery There's a left hook connecting for Ugas. And Pacquiao looks to get that right back. When Pacquiao gets hit, he immediately goes into combat mode. He gets popped with a couple right hands. And Pacquiao pounds his gloves in frustration. There is Jinky Pacquiao, his wife. The, the right eye of Manny Pacquiao. Don't give them a gift, man. That's what Ismael Salas told your Dennis Ugas. They do translating as well. There's a big right hand to start the round, and I think that they started before the bell sounded. They touch gloves, sign a sportsman between the two. Well, I mentioned at the start of the fight, as you see the total punches landed thrown through the eighth round Pacquiao 97 of 521 for a 19% connect percentage Ugas 104 of 279 for a 37% connect percentage so Ugas even though he's thrown less he has landed more punches we mentioned at the start of the fight are we going to see the old Manny Pacquiao or are we going to see an old Manny Pacquiao I think it is somewhere in the middle is he what he once was no 
but he is still an elite welterweight in my estimation. And he's fighting your Dennis Ukas, a man who is fighting, in my opinion, and putting on the performance of his life. But I still think it could be a close fight. Especially depending on how the judges or what they favor from a scoring standpoint. There's a right hand for Ugas. But Ugas is starting to find his groove without question. There's a right hand for Ugas. The defense of Ugas has been superb this evening. And Pacquiao doesn't have as much spring in his legs as he is used to exhibiting over the course of his 25-year career, 26-year career. 70 seconds left here in the ninth. And I don't just attribute that to age. I attribute it to the fact that early in the fight, your Dennis Ugas attacked the body of Pacquiao, really made it a point of emphasis to hammer away upon the left side of the ribcage of Manny Pacquiao and unload those right hands. The jab has been finding its mark for your Dennis Ugas as he backs up Pacquiao with a counter right hand, but Pacquiao unloads at close distance now. Pacquiao, he knows he's in deep waters against a very determined champion from Cuba, your Dennis Ugas. There's a right to the body by Pacquiao, but Pacquiao has faced his fair share adversity in his career. Make no mistake about that. This is not foreign territory for the eight division world champion in Manny Pacquiao. On to the 10th. Okay. Vamos para el Diego, ¿verdad? There is your Dennis Ugas' girlfriend, I believe. She's there supporting her man, the WBA welterweight champion of the world. As we head on to round 10, this one's scheduled for 12. Power punches thrown through the ninth round. Pacquiao 70 of 262 for a 27% connect percentage. Ugas 67 of 114. Extremely accurate. A 59% connect percentage. There's a chopping right hand by Ugas. And Ismail Salas telling him, I want you to be more aggressive. I think Salas feels that it could be a close fight. Pacquiao steps in with a combination, but back comes Ugas. Now they exchange. They're going toe to toe here in Las Vegas, and Ugas immediately ties up. Pacquiao loves this kind of style. This frenetic pace is something that he has enjoyed and embraced, and it has endeared him to fight fans all over the world. And now that exchange brings the crowd, and you hear the energy from the fans here at T Mobile Arena. It woke them up because it was a calculated, deliberate fight, and that burst of energy and exchange from Pacquiao turned back the clock as we saw vintage Pacquiao. 95 seconds left in the 10th. And as we head down the stretch of this championship affair at 42 years of age, how will the legs and the condition of Manny Pacquiao hold up? against an extremely focused and determined your Dennis Ugas who is seven years his junior there's a counter right hand by Ugas but Pacquiao stepped in and landed a glancing straight left 65 seconds left in the 10th what an excellent prize fight between two men who are extremely focused and have had their moments where they've been having some stained success. Uga shakes his head as to say, nope, I'm good. 
Pacquiao threw a straight left and Ugas with a big overhand right. Pacquiao got out of the way of it. Under 30 seconds left here in the 10th. Final 10 seconds of the 10th round. We'll see if Pacquiao tries to get off, but he eats a big right hand from Ugas, but he steps in again. And now Pacquiao, when Pacquiao gets popped, he immediately tries to swing the fight back in his favor. As Ugas' girlfriend enjoying what she's seen as we are on to the championship rounds between your Dennis Ugas and Manny Pacquiao. High level prize fighting is what we are witnessing with the welterweight championship of the world on the line between the champion from Cuba, your Dennis Ugas, and Manny Pacquiao, boxing's only eighth division world champion. For Pacquiao, you wonder how much steam he has left and can he end the fight in spectacular fashion by really unloading combinations and letting his hands go. And for Ugas, he has fought a brilliant fight tactically, using his jab to start off his offense, and then also countering Manny Pacquiao with the right hand, as well as attacking the body early in the fight. For Pacquiao, he's been the one who has been throwing, obviously, considerable more punches. He's been extremely, he's been aggressive in spurts. There's a left to the body by Pacquiao. As he landed a big shot to hurt or disrupt the flow of Ugas. Not much, but Pacquiao could very well be piling up points in the eyes of the judges based on his work rate and his activity level that is considerably more than that of your Dennis Ugas. Jab by Pacquiao. There's a jab followed by a straight left for Pacquiao, landed right on the chin of Ugas. Big right hand by Ugas, but back comes Pacquiao. Pacquiao loves these toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges. The more tactical, plotting sort of fight is something that, I don't know if it was lulling him to sleep or making him think a little bit more, but Pacquiao loves, he has a zest for combat. And when Ugas has been willing to oblige, that's when you see Manny Pacquiao Go back and we witness the Pacquiao of the past five to ten years that have been so emblematic over the course of his 25 year plus career. There's a straight left by Pacquiao. There's a right hand on the left ear of Pacquiao. Pacquiao with some swelling underneath his right eye. Ugas has swelling underneath his left eye. Largely in part through those straight lefts from Pacquiao. Final stages of the 11. A riveting matchup. A big right hand for Ugas as we head down the stretch. On to the 12th and final round. Scorecards and the fans coming to their feet, bruising outside of the left eyes of Manny Pacquiao. And if you notice, Pacquiao was breathing extremely heavy in between rounds. 12th and final round. Could this be the final round in the career of Manny Pacquiao? And with the result hanging in the balance, total punches landed, thrown through the 11th. Pacquiao, 123 of 737 for a 17% connect percentage. Ugas, 140 of 380 for a 37% connect percentage. Pacquiao has nearly doubled the punches thrown compared to that of Ugas. But Ugas has been the far more accurate of the two. There's a right hand by Ugas that caught the attention of Pacquiao. Pacquiao might have been off balance, but he smiles, and now Pacquiao looking to retaliate and respond. There's a right hand by Ugas.
there are a, there is nervous energy here at T-Mobile Arena because this is a partisan Manny Pacquiao crowd. There's a big right hand by Ugas as he stepped in beautifully and got a lot of leverage behind it. 90 seconds left in the fight. There's a right hand by Ugas. And now they both tie up. Ugas wants to immediately wrap up with Pacquiao. Pacquiao's face bruised up. But he enjoys this. He just pounded his gloves. And you know that that is a statement that he's trying to exert and give his all in these final moments of his welterweight championship affair against her. Dennis Ugas. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas is zeroing in on Pacquiao. Left hook. That wobbled Pacquiao. But Pacquiao ate it. Ugas is trying to leave no doubt in the eyes of the judges here in this 12th and final round. And now the fans start to chant Manny. Blood outside of the left eye of Manny Pacquiao. And it's starting to trickle. There's a right to the body by Ugas. But Pacquiao responds with a counter left. Pacquiao is now seeking out and trying to find your Dennis Ugas. A cut underneath the right eye of Pacquiao. What a moment between Manny Pacquiao and your Dennis Ugas. Both men fighting at such a high level. A right hand by Ugas. Ugas fought the fight of his life. Manny Pacquiao still Manny Pacquiao. What a fight here in Las Vegas. Ugas feels like destiny is within his grasp. Pacquiao feels as if victory should be his. Jinky Pacquiao, nervous indeed. There is the girlfriend of Yoda Dennis Ugas. What a fight. And your Dennis Ugas with Ismail Salas, his trainer, they go over to Manny Pacquiao, they embrace. Manny Pacquiao there with boy Fernandez. And the feeling here that I am experiencing. 116 to 112, all three in favor of the winner and still champion, Jordanis Ugas. So Jordanis Ugas gets the upset victory over Manny Pacquiao as he hands Pacquiao the eighth professional loss. What a monumental moment.